Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Welcome to Haseeb Electronics. Friends, in this video, we will discuss SDC2921 voltage mod PWM controller. We will discuss one by one and we will see practically how it is connected, connected in the circuit. The first pin that is V3.3 actually this IC is voltage mod PWM controller it drives uh, SMPS ATX power supplies and then monitors back the function of ATX power supply so when it will work it will work like a uh, any IC KA3511, SD6105, 2002, 2003, 2005. Approximately maximum ATX power supply monitors are working same. Pin number one, it is 3.3 volt sense line. Normally it is connected directly or 10 ohm resistance to 3.3 volt it is directly then and most of the time there is one PF connector capacitor connected to ground then pin number 2 is V5 5 volt it is also 10 ohm resistance with one PF one capacitor for chip ripples or for ripple removal 2 plus 5 volt this is output from the ATX power supply. How? Here is 5 volt power supply. If we see this 5 volt is connected from here to this resistor to pin number 2. Pin number 2 is connected here. So we can see it is okay then here is pin number 3 that is V12. 12 volt sensor because this IC its operating voltage VCC is 4.5 volt to 5.5 volt and nominal sorry 6 6 point 6.5 6.5 volt and nominal it is working at 5 volts so 5 volts that is connected to pin number 13 VCC this 5 volt comes from, from standby power. Standby power when our this supply is working we take 5 volt at pin number 13. This pin number 3 it have normally a voltage divider network. We take two resistors I have 12 volt and apply two resistors maybe one is 8k this is 4k so this 12 volt will be divided into 4 volt and 8 volt and I will take the voltage from ground to this line that will 4 volt so when 4 volt will arrive here at pin number 3 uh, pin number 3 that will be considered that here are 12 volt 2 resistors 12 volt and 1 resistor connected to ground normally if I see, see here pin number 3 1 2 3 3 is here yes uh, 3 is here number resistor 1 2 3 4 at 4 number 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 that is 2.6k and then we have resistor here here is 1k ok and this shunt is 40 ohm 40 ohm yes so here 2.6k and 1k it is a voltage divider network so we will take voltage at this resistor for here, here. then here number 4 is a protection 
I will discuss at the end. Number five, it is ground. Number six, it is RT. Normally, it is connected here. It's about 100K. Brown, black, yellow, 100K. So this 100K resistor to select F oscillator. Oscillation frequency, this IC can work 55 kilohertz to 65 kilohertz. The output frequency at, at pin number 7 and 8. This one is C1, C2. I will discuss, first we have to connect these pins. Then here we have pin number 9, it is a remote. Normally a one resistor, 100 ohm, 200 ohm, we, we can see it here. This pin number 9, it's uh, 220, 220 ohm and one capacitor is connected here. So here it is connected to PS on command. Normally, how is the connected resistor here? 5, uh, 5SB standby power it is connected to PC and motherboard it motherboard will connect this pin to ground or it will open if it is open it will come here 5 volt if 5 volt are available on this pin this IC will off and if it's 0 volt so this circuit will work then number 10 is SS pin number 10 is SS here is soft start capacitor soft start capacitor the value of this capacitor defines the starting frequency at how at which, which frequency this IC will start so it is SS so number 11 is PG PG it is output when all the powers output from the ATX will good this IC will generate a signal PG out that means power supplies is good so normally it is connected this 10 ohm resistor we will see here normally it is 10 ohm or 100 ohm PG power good signal and here it is connected to 5 volt 5 volt out to this pin so now we will see it here pin number 11 pin number 11 9 10 11 11 is connected here and it is connected to this line and it is connected to 1k resistor this PG signal here is PG signal and PG is connected to yes 5 volts normal the output of the power supply it is connected to 5 volt out when it is connected to zero, it will give zero volt. That means the power supply is not good. The motherboard will turn off the system if it is giving good output. So it will keep latching. Number 12, it is DET, extra detection, extra protection. It is also detector. We will discuss PT and detection we will discuss at the end detection 13 is VCC number 14 is OP out there is OP inverting input OP positive or non inverting input let's discuss these items it is a given reference to this circuit these are two inputs to this IC. What we need, what, our, what are our requirement? We give a summing point signal on this pin number 16 
और फिर नंबर फिफ्टीन इट डिपेंड्स अपॉन द डिज़ाइनर डिपेंड्स अपॉन द इंजीनियर हु इज़ डिज़ाइनिंग इट विल चेक वाट इज द बिहेवियर ऑफ द सर्किट एंड वट आर द इनपुट्स आउटपुट्स वी कनेक्टेड वी सी सी एट पे नंबर थर्टीन फाइव वोल्ट नंबर फाइव ग्राउंड वी कनेक्टेड नंबर सिक्स रजिस्टेंस वी टोल्ड दिस आई सी हाउ मच फ्रिक्वेंसी स्विचिंग फ्रिक्वेंसी वी नीड एट पे नंबर सेवन एंड एट वी कनेक्टेड दिस पिन टू ग्राउंड एंड वी कनेक्टेड सॉफ्ट स्टार्ट कैपेसिटर सो दिस आई सी शुड वर्क एन इट विल स्टार्ट फंक्शनिंग इट विल गिव पिन नंबर सेवन आई विल I will design here pin number seven, pin number eight. Normally, pin number seven and pin number eight are connected resistors. If I will see here, here are two resistors. Pin number seven and pin number eight. It is two six two two thousand six hundred ohm. And these two resistors are connected to one point and this point is connected to by sink power supply sb these are connected to sb plus 5 volt sb 2.6k 2.6k okay it is pull up resistor then if we see the same line is going here the two lines this line is coming to this base and this line is coming to this base here are two transistors i have one transistor here i have one transistor here to the base to the base one diode two diode two emitters are connected together two emitters are connected together and they are connected to series diodes okay and collectors if we see collector are connected here and this end is connected to one diode second diode okay and this line uh this line is the collectors are connected to this uh, signal transformer here one two and the third point is connected one diode here the center tape pin is connected this is connected to 5 sb self splicing one line is connected to this uh, power supply and the second is connected to this line 12 volt this line here so this line is 12 volt yes so this line here 12 volt pin number 7 and pin number 8 are opposite to each other if this is on this is off if this on this will off the circuit will take current from this to winding when the power supply is off it will take signal from 5 volt sb when power supply will start functioning the 12 volt output will connected to this diode and this circuit will start in this way when this circuit is this portion is off pin number 8 will action so current will flow in the second portion of this transformer signal transformer and it is connected to these uh, transistors so pin number 7 and 8 have this function so when power supply will start functioning it will take 3.3 volt at pin number 1 5 volt at pin number 2 pin number 3 will take 12 volt 2 5 volt through this resistor 5 ohm, 5 ohm resistor so 10 ohm resistor this one we have some safety issues and how it will define a voltage level we have v inverting 
V inverting have some resistors. If we come here to pin number 16, pin number 16 is here. So pin number 16 is here, this one. It have one, two, three resistors. One, two, three, four and five resistors. If we see three resistors are in parallel. One, two, three and why three resistors? three resistors and they are connected to ground if there is a one resistor if there is one resistor it can damage it can take over current it can take chip oscillation it can generate ripples but here three different values of resistors are connected here it's about 100k 100k 15 150k and the last one that is 47k approximately and the RT the total Z impedance the total resistance of these three resistors is 7.6k RT 7.65k 100k that is connected to plus 12 volt 20k it is connected to plus 5 volt 100k and it's connected to 3.3 volt these one two three four these six resistors this summing point is given to v inverting operational amplifier v inverting and then we have pin number 15 if we come to pin number 15 it's about 100k and one pf that is connected to ground uh, this resistor is connected to pin number 14. The same line, this line is connected to detector pin 9, 10, 11, 12. Ah, yes, there is a resistor here 4, 5, 47k. Here is this over, -volt, over voltage protection OP, OPP, operation amplifier over volt protection. It is fed to pin number 15 and the output is connected to pin number 12 the same time we have another protection circuit pin number 4 that's to pin number 4 1 2 3 4 then we have one resistor two resistor three resistor four resistors plus 12 minus 12 we have one feedback from the power supply when this IC will start functioning, it will drive the signal transformer and signal transformer will drive this FETs and these FETs or BJTs will drive this PFC power transformer and power transformer will give outputs and these out outputs will rectify and we will take outputs. Same time, every output will be monitored through different resistors 3.3 volt at pin number one if this IC will take a voltage from 3.3 if it is standard 3.3 that means the IC is working good the power supply have good function there is no problem if it will take output other than 3.3 volt the output will increase or decrease in the first stage we apply 3.3 volt we apply 5 volt we apply 12 volt through this network it will go to a logic circuit this logic circuit will compare it with its own reference 
this reference is inside the chip so if all the voltage are within limit it will allow to go forward here is another logic PT protection circuit it will also uh, compare here it have reference if it will within the limit it will allow okay go out then it have a remote on and then it have a detector if this output is good this output is good this output is good and PT protection circuit protection circuit will monitor the summing point voltage if all the voltage suppose this 5 volt is good 12 volt is good minus 12 is good 3.3 is good all voltage are good it will give we can say it will give 3 volt suppose if minus 12 are short circuited or plus 12 is short, missing so this voltage will change if this will change this IC will stop working PWM output when it will start working that's good remote on that is power on off soft start signal PG when power supply are good okay then we have one other safety that is called DET it is also a detector it will monitor the output of the circuit actual here is our voltage reference what we need change pin number 16 pin number 15 we have to select any one because any operational amplifier any operational amplifier it have inverting and non-inverting then it will give output it have to compare these two pins you can change this pin or you can change this pin if this pin will increasing the output will start increasing if this, this pin will decrease the output will increase if it will increase going to positive side this will go to negative side the output will compare these two pins so we can calculate we can adjust these two pins if you will adjust this pin if you want to increase output you have to decrease this pin voltage decrease the voltage level and this pin you can adjust these resistors you can remove this you can give your own reference and we will make it practical pin number 12 that is protection pin number 4 protection we have two protections in this IC one is normal the second is extra extra protection additional protection so if you want to increase the power supply you have to select pin number 12 you have to change pin number 12 that is over voltage protection OPP OPP here OPP here over voltage protection the first protection is here second protection is here the second thing you can remove one two three as I have made this video I removed all protections here what I did in this video in this circuit I took 5 volt 5 volt SB and I connected one resistor two resistor three resistor I connected 3.3k 600 70 ohm I think like this and it is 1k so I took this and here I connected 5 volt SB I disconnected these resistors from pin number 3 1 to 3 in my this experiment I removed pin number disconnected pin number 1 2 3 I connect disconnected pin number 1 2 3 and I connected external reference so what are the voltage here no problem 
I just only bypassed all the safeties for the voltage so I connected this 3.3 volt here I applied 5 volt I took 5 volt 3.3 uh, volt to pin number 1 pin number 1 at this point I took about 4 volt this will go to the pin number 3 and this I connected directly to pin number 2 I removed these safeties I disconnected this track and I disconnected this track when I disconnected these tracks and I removed these pins in first experiment I removed these three pins three resistors so when I removed when I removed the three resistors at pin number one two three when I removed one two three resistors from pin number one two three of this uh, SD two nine two one SDC two nine two one in the first experiment I removed R sixteen fifteen sixteen seventeen and I connected between ground and SB the three resistors this was a special question from one of my friend one of my follower so I connected this 3.3k resistor this resistor I connected to pin number one because pin number one here is disconnected the 3.3 volt our own reference will apply to this pin so what are the voltage here we want to increase decrease it will let us to work independently then I took 4 volt from the second resistor 1 and 2 resistor the green pin the green wire is connected to pin number 3 that is 12 volt sense and the 5 volt SB is connected directly to this pin so I disconnected this track 12 volt 3.3 volt 5 volt so I disconnected the power section from this IC so in next step we will looking forward thanks for watching if this video is good for you like subscribe and share to watch my future videos press bell icon button if you want assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh